Good <laughs> This is the Bioshock secret ending. Still a better ending than Bioshock. And then Justin Hoffman and really? Darren Stone and Daniel Jackson forgot about everything. No, come on. This is so dumb. I wonder if any helicopters are coming. That's why that's the best campaign. Aside from that lost bit. <laughs> why is it that they all seem to have some sort of mega boss that just does not die ever? I have nowhere near as bad as Simmons. I mean, Simmons became a man dog, and he became a T-Rex, and then he became a giant fly. Simmons this was thing a bit worse because was... he was multiple chapters, but still, this was pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the chase thing is just the worst stuff, but actually fighting it, yeah, I think, will be easy. Oh, I can't wait to see what dumb stuff uh, Sherry and Western Jake.
Man, this, this campaign holds up, but um, because the first time I played it, I was uh, playing as Chris, so I actually saw like fierce change, and I was like, wait, what? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's basically like they wanted to put Hadouken in Resident Evil, and they did it. Yeah, I mean, look, man, they make you feel real bad for fear. The only one who gets character. Uh, it would be real dumb if they bring him back, though. Look, if they've got dumb, giant baby thing to survive, uh, everything that, you know, you can arm pierce, you can survive anything. But yeah, they probably should not ever make a uh, mainline sequel again. So, no more pierces. Yeah, well, they won't. Even uh, Resident Evil 7, when they showed like actual gameplay and stuff, people have found a way to hate that. They're like, yeah, it's horror survival, but it's not like Resident Evil, it's uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Well, I I'm sure they'll like drop some real vague umbrella core hints and, you know, mutant biological weapon stuff. But yeah, they're, they're going for a totally different thing, disconnected from. These I don't really mind it. I'm dumb. glad they're doing something new, but uh, would be nice if you get to see a familiar face or two. I don't know, because I mean, if if there's nothing like connecting it to the re the rest of Resident Evil, it could literally be any other game. I think it needs a break. They they, they should definitely just like not have anyone from the past Resident Evil set. Uh, it's uh, first person, so it's technically Resident Evil Survivor Part 3 or 4. I, I know I'm not sure. We were gonna oh, yeah, call it's it Gun Survivor four. 3, but... <laughs> then we decided no, no, Gun Survivor 3 is basically Dead End, which I actually finished. Or, or... There was Gun Survivor 1, Gun Survivor 2, and Dead End, right? And that's it, mm. I think, for first person. So... Resident Evil 7 is Gun Survivor 4. Or Dead Aim 2. Or Dead Aim 2. Resident Evil 7, Gun Survivor 4, Dead Aim 2. That's the title. The... The... What's his name though? Uh, Gun Survivor actually had third person exploration. It's only one first person when you were, uh... Um... Attacking. So... It's more of a Gun Survivor thing because that whole thing was in first person. When you heal? Way overdrawn lore or any of the previous characters. And that's probably uh, for the According to them, it still takes place in the same universe. Like, it, it's after Resident Evil 6, but I mean, I think that, the, like, if there's anybody reporting the news that feels like it, they're just like, their minds are blown after 6. They're like, well, we got um, Flymen in China, there's some sort of squid thing seen in the sea. The president is a zombie. Yeah. It's like, yeah, the, yeah, like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre zombie thing going on somewhere. Like, doesn't even register. That doesn't make the news. It's nothing. It's like, it, yeah, yeah, all, all of Washington, D.C. is turned into zombies. Like, giant people. Yeah, that, that makes the news. They're Meanwhile, college campuses are looking oddly more lively. Everyone in China was turned into giant fly man. So they basically they take the, the campaign over like America, um, Europe, and uh, I think Jake is in uh, yeah Jake is in Europe, Leon is in uh, America, and I guess Chris is kind of uh, shows up in all familiar uh, places. 
make too much damage. But I do kind of feel like it does make sense that they're probably playing to release this in parts and like decided to be considered some point. It's, it's the weirdest thing, because Capcom, they love them some DLC, and this was actually more or less complete, aside from the stripped out multiplayer mode. We're tracking your progress. You stepped the squid about three times. If they were tracking the progress, maybe they should have had it made the whole thing chase down. I think they, they must have cut like sections of it or something. I recall that thing taking like 30 tries. I I don't know, but the controls are much easier with a 360 controller. <coughs> Yeah, because with PS3 the triggers are not very good, so a lot like you can imagine every game that uses aim and shoot on triggers on PS3 its shoulder button really throws you off. Yeah, but by yourself PS3 like it took one year to show up because people didn't know about the exclusivity things back then. So everybody thought it was a 360 exclusive that got ported. So it was just like the first example of something that, or MS spot like a year of exclusivity, right? And then, but no I one think they did that. Um, they, I don't know. They might have done that with Lost Planet as well, but I think Lost Planet One was far more successful on 360 than PS3. Like. People liked it more on 360 for some reason. I think Lost Planet 1, no one would notice because the 360 was out way earlier than PS3. So, like, a year earlier in America, at least, right? So, no one would notice that it was exclusive for like a year, right? Because it took that long. Even when it did show up on PS3, I just don't think it got, like, you know, Maybe it was badly ported or something, but it's a nice game anyway. The third floor! That's it. Dive Cola. Mountain Dew. Get the images where you probably for the uh, the family photos or something. You're welcome for playing. And you have to sit through these credits just to see your skills score summary thing. Uh, it Thanks might be come. skippable. I don't know. Uh, nothing I'm pressing skips this. Maybe I'll try escape. Nope. You just gotta wait. I just pressed everything too. Gotta wait through the whole credits. Oh, what a time to be alive. <laughs> and then you can see the medals. Oh, wait. Post credits cutscene. How could this happen to me? He likes his bad Eastern European steaks. Cut from a large and increasingly elderly piece of meat. Captain. We've received new orders. Just when I thought I was out. All right. They pulled me right back in. Better get to it then. Yes, sir.
And then all of his squad died. <laughs> Again. Your bad luck, Chris. There we go. The medals. Holy shit. More deaths. Oh, oh, that was from all the, the slaps from the jellyfish. Yeah. Earn skills, earn dog tag. You still have better accuracy. Well, I mostly melee, right? Or try. Escape the giant B.O.W. Use the end. game out there. I haven't entered the dying state at least five times. Yeah, we, we were almost kind of locked. I like In how there's the, one for destroying an item box while sliding. <laughs> hey, you gotta you gotta remember the classics. I think that uh, that section with the bridge, you know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hit him. Anyway, uh, thanks for playing. I guess we got two more campaigns. Going. Yeah, I'm on it. I I really like that Chris campaign. The whole the whole last scenario where he just he makes himself a BOW that. The first time was just brilliant. That is a neat idea. I liked it. it. It was a genuine surprise. Like, you don't expect that to happen in a game, right? It's like, oh no, you got injured in a cutscene. Well, that's not good. Oh god, your arm! <laughs> it's, it's like he lost his arm in a cutscene. Well, uh, uh, I guess you're either playing without an arm or, you know, this is like the last cutscene of the, of the chapter. When you, yeah. when you play as him, you're basically crawling to the syringe, so... It's it's like a really dramatic action film scene, but you're in control of what's going on. They have a lot of moments like that in this game. Of course, uh, from my point of view, I had nothing to do. I was just being held by this thing. <laughs> it was just like, yeah. holding me and going while you slowly crawled across the floor for like two minutes. <laughs> Again, though, you you probably expected like the campaign to end with Pierce and Chris. They make it out fine. But no, <laughs> you didn't think Pierce would die, did you? Well, Pierce is the rookie, so someone's got to be expendable. Martha, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for playing. Uh, see you again next time. Yep, see ya.